Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ellen and in today's video I am going to be sharing what I sewed in January. If you are new to my channel and you like sewing and knitting content, please like this video and subscribe for more like it. Alright, I sewed three things ish. I kind of played around with um, some different t-shirt patterns, but those are really just still in the toile stage. So I'm just going to be going over the three things that I made um, that I am actually wearing. So two of them I am wearing today. Um, I'll start first with this Anthea blouse by Anna Allen. Um, I love this top. The first one I made was in like a kind of like gray blue chambray and it just did not um, favor my skin tone very well. Um, also I have like no makeup on and my skin is very red in my face so please excuse that. Um, anyway this is a like dusty blue polka dotted fabric. I love it. It's a cotton um, and I added these neckties and skipped the top two buttons on here. Um, I first saw this like hack on Instagram. Um, what Claire made is the handle and I'll link it below. But she sewed this like hack in a black cotton fabric um, and it was really cute. So I was like, I want to, I want to recreate it. So I did that. Um, I sewed a size 14, I believe, in the Anthea, um, and it fits pretty well. The only thing is my sleeves are too long, and I believe I sewed the longer version of the sleeve, so I think in all my subsequent makes, I'm just going to trim that longer version or longer length off and just sew the um, shorter version. It's not like uncomfortable or anything, but I think I would prefer the shorter sleeve. Um, I just I just love the style of this blouse so much. I love the dramatic sleeves. Um, okay, moving on to the second item that I'm wearing that you can't see right now, but they are the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans. I'll just prove that I'm wearing them. Um, I'll also insert a clip um, of me walking around and wearing them. I I love how they came out. I used the top-down center out fitting method for these pants founded by Ruth. I'm gonna uh, put up her name on the screen because I cannot remember her last name but I will link her Instagram down below and it is a genius genius pants fitting method. Um, I first found out about it through Stacy at the Crooked Hem. Um, she is on Instagram where she talks about it a lot and she also has a wonderful um, video series here on YouTube going over what Top Down Center Out is and how to do it um, and I watched those videos a few times <laughs> um, and yep I fit these pants in a duck canvas so it was you know very rigid um, but I ended up taking a little bit more off of the side seams in my final version um, because this denim has a little bit of stretch to it. Um, but anyway, I highly recommend that you go watch Stacy's videos if you want to learn more about Top Down Center Out. I could talk about it forever, but I don't want to bore you. Um, the fabric or denim that I used is from L.A. Finch. It is a Cone Mills um, slightly slight stretch denim in the color Vibrant Indigo and it is it is like your classic indigo colorway. Um, I made a few posts on Instagram about these and I will insert a bunch of photos. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with these jeans. I made the Dawn jeans once before and I actually have a sew along video on my channel for them um, and I just did the kind of classic fitting techniques I made a twall, um, and I made, mm, 
excuse me. I made several different specific fit adjustments and it was kind of a, pro a frustrating fitting process because I did like a round pubis adjustment. I did I like carved out my back rise and I did all these things and I was never like fully satisfied with the fit of them. But the top down center out method really allows you to make a, a really custom fit in one go. You know, you you um, choose your size based on your hip measurement and um, your waist measurement. That's like your inseam. Well, your inseam size is based on your hip measurement. And then you choose your outseam size based on your waist. Um, and basically you add, you know, a good bit of fabric to the side seams and to the top so you can kind of see if you need to rise or raise or lower the rise. Um, you can make a really custom outline for the side seam to your body. It's wonderful. Um, so that was really helpful. I made my one legged twall, marked and pinned my adjustments and transfer them to my front and back pattern pieces and my yoke since I made jeans. Um, and I sewed the front and back panels, you know, as normal for your jeans. And I sewed up the inseam normally, top stitch that, and then I basted the side seams to make sure um, they were good before I sewed them down uh, you know, permanently and I ended up having to take more in. Um, and one mistake I did make is I didn't adjust my, well, my pockets. I like ate into my pockets some when I like trimmed the side seam down more. So perhaps before, you know, in my next pair before I put the pockets in, I'll do like a little bit of a test, um, you know, test fit because I really did, you can kind of see, um, I really ate into my pockets on the side seam here. Um, so they're like, I'm missing like a good half inch on my, the side seam of my pocket. Um, and I think if I use a rigid denim um, with no stretch, I would leave that, you know, leave the pattern pieces how they are, um, you know, as I fitted them with that duck canvas, but if I do use a slight stretch denim in the future for any of the other views or this view again, I think I'll go ahead and trim off that like half inch and move over the pocket um, on the front panel so that I won't run into this problem again. But all in all, a wonderful experience fitting and sewing. Um, this is an 11 ounce denim and my first pair, I believe, was a 12 ounce denim, but um, it was hard to sew on my machine. And I used I used a different uh, thread. So with this pair, I used the Gooderman Mara 70, um, and that is like a little bit thicker than a regular thread, and that was much easier on my machine. I used it for both regular stitching and top stitching. And in my previous pair, I used Mara 30, which is like very thick. It was too thick. My machine did not like it. Um, and I think that's probably a big reason why I didn't enjoy the actual sewing process of those. Um, another thing I will be adjusting um, for my next pair is uh, how to do the fly. I, you know, Megan Nielsen has great instructions for her um, fly front tutorial on her website. Um, it's using the Ash Jeans uh, sew along tutorial, and it was fine. It's like a more of a classic um, fly front construction. I haven't really studied a lot of fly front constructions, but I really struggled with doing the top stitching around the. Um, fly, you know, the kind of like J, because it was really bulky at the center seam. So Pattern Scout, um, Casey over there, has a great tutorial for a fly front that 
you don't add the fly um, extension. Well, what is the piece? The fly guard. Whatever goes over, the piece that goes over the zipper that protects your skin. That part is like a double layered piece and it's really bulky. And I think that provides, or that causes a lot of issues at that center seam. Because it's like, it's uneven. So it's hard for your presser foot to have like an even surface. And if you have a, a stitch jumper tool, that makes it easier, but I don't have one. Um, I think I'm going to get one or find something that I could use as a seam jumper. And I'm sure that'll help in the future. But um, I think I'm going to try out her fly front um, construction method because she just, she does all the construction without that fly guard piece. Um, and then she adds that in at the last step after she's done her top stitching. So, seems like a much more simple way to do it. And I'm going to try it out next time. Um, okay, I feel like I've talked a lot about Don jeans. Also, one more thing. Um, I was, actually two more things. First thing is I'm going to adjust my pocket placing. I don't know if you can really see it, but it kind of like turns downward ever so slightly and it just isn't very flattering but I still wear them I mean it's not going to stop me from wearing them but I think I'm just going to kind of adjust it on the back p panel or the back pattern piece for my subsequent makes and then also just a comment this is more about my machine but I was like delighted sewing the bar tacks um, I think the 11 ounce is, you know, obviously a thinner fabric, so when you have all those folds for the bar tacks and the, or the belt loops and the waistband, it's easier for your machine to go through, but, um, my, yeah, I was just very, very proud of my machine. I have a Juki HZL series home machine, and I did give it a really, really good clean, and I took the faceplate off dusted it out. It was very, very dirty. So I think that played a huge role in making my stitching much smoother and easier. So do that if you haven't already. Um, I just use like the little spoolie brush that your machine comes with and unscrew the faceplate, get in there. And I um, also have to oil my machine. I haven't done that yet, but it does make a huge difference. Moving on. The third item is the Anna Allen Pomona Pants. Um, this is like a very simple elastic waist pattern. I'll insert a little clip of me walking around in them. Um, they're, they're super comfortable and very easy to sew. I sew them in a size 14 and I originally added an inch to the rise. Um, but I ended up basically taking that out because it was just too baggy. Um, and I sewed them in a cotton twill. I believe it's eight or nine ounces. I'll look that up. But they're um, it's from Lyrical Fabrics. And I love it. It's this like olive green herringbone um, like weave. And I love them. They're definitely like uh, more of like a winter fall pant. And um, I have lots of dreams to make the pimento pants in linen um, and all sorts of colors. Uh, both views, the wide leg and the tapered for the spring and summer. Um, they're just such a great pant and such a great pattern. The instructions are clear. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with those. I think I will size down to a 12 um, in the, you know, subsequent makes because there's like a little, I have like a little bit too much ease, I think, in the 14. Um, and linen will, I think, stretch a little bit more, um, you know, like on the bias. So I think that a 12 will be just fine. But I will probably do like some sort of 12 just to make sure. Um, but yeah, so those are the three things that I made in January. 
and I have plans for another Anthea top, but this time I want to do the scoop neck hack. Um, it's so cute. She has it on her website as a pattern extension and has a tutorial and it looks just really cute. I do want to do a white denim wide leg Don jean or Persephone pants. I have the Persephone pattern. I've made it before, but I, again, the fit is, I don't even think I have my like finished Persephone pants anymore because it was just, it was not good. Um, and that's, you know, nothing, nothing bad against Anna Allen. Like she drafts some awesome, awesome patterns, but I think that was just my lack of knowledge um, with fitting and um, I kind of like did too much. You know, I did like three things at once and I couldn't figure out what was working, what was not. So I'm definitely gonna do the top down center out method uh, to fit the Persephone pants if I go that route for the white denim. Um, I think I will because I really love the style of the Persephone pants and they are like super flattering on everyone. Um, so I think I'll be doing that, but I just need to get some white denim, but I, I'm not gonna shop for that until probably March. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it. I think I've rambled long enough. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and comment down below and let me know what you are sewing right now. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention are these awesome labels that I got um, also in my LA Finch order. They're from Sarah, Sarah Hearts, I believe. They're woven labels and these ones say you are beautiful. And it's in my Anthea top and also in my Dawn jeans. So I just wanted to include that because they're very cute and I love them and I will link them. All right, bye.